Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy. Yeehaw! And today I wanted to show you how to play an open fort. I wanna to talk to you about what open fort is, why you might use it, and how to do it in a game. Open fort is basically getting rid of all of your units for the big benefit of economy. The idea is you will go on a losing streak, you will sell all of your units after round three to get as much interest as possible, and you will do that up until round 10, where hopefully, well, where you will definitely have 50 gold, and where also you might start finding units you would like to put together a build of your choosing. There are times that it's more beneficial than others to do this. Really, it's when you don't get anything you're looking for early and you think you're gonna be in a losing streak situation anyway, that's a good time to play an open fort. So, you'll see me do it here. Again, we're going to go through these first three creep rounds. We're gonna buy any units we want and take these rounds over, and then we will sell everything after round three and we will lose all the way up until round 10 to get the money we need. Item-wise, you also can get to a position where you go, ah, I don't like any of my item choices. I don't think I'm gonna go on a win streak at all. And this is a good build if that situation comes up as well. I could buy anybody here, it doesn't matter again. After these three rounds, every unit is going to be sold. The only purpose of this is the most economy possible, the best economic advantage, getting all the interest we can. We might pick up some units along the way, but if they mess with our economy, we get rid of them. The only unit that we will try to grab if it is available is a priest unit to mitigate some of our loss. So let's do it. Open fort play. And actually, I, I don't like my item choices here. Like I can make a teleport dagger or something, but I don't like a lot of what they've given me. So we haven't seen any priests. If we did see a priest, I wouldn't buy it yet, but I would use the L1 button here to lock my board for next round. But I don't see any priests, so I'm gonna sell every unit on my board. They are all gone. We are definitely going to lose this round unless we run into another person doing the exact same thing. And we are going to start our loss streak and we are going to get one gold in interest right away because we have 10 gold. This is the start of Open Fort. And there you see, we lose. We don't have anyone. They've got somebody. We don't have anyone on our bench. 10 gold, start our loss streak and get that one point of interest. And we're gonna do this all the way up to round 10. I don't love going on a loss streak. Of course, I'd rather be winning. I'd rather have you know, an early combination of mechs uh, and maybe mages or something like that. Get a pulse staff, you know, a two-star heaven, uh, heaven breaker, is that what it's called? Now I can't even remember the name, but uh, heaven bomber, excuse me, a two-star heaven bomber and hopefully start winning. But if you feel like you've got no options, this is a great way to make some early money. The only thing you're gonna need to do is have an idea in mind of what you're going to go for once your gold is at 50 plus, and then hopefully start winning from there. When you get to the uh, bot round, or creep round, I always call it a bot round. When you get to the creep round on wave 10, hopefully you can buy a combination of units that will get you to survive that particular creep round. In fact, yeah, I was gonna say, if they had a unicorn here, I could snatch it up, because you can make money on unicorns, but they don't. So, a couple good combinations to make that work. Uh, cave clan, warriors, you know, something like that can beat that creep round, even if you don't have uh, a good setup yet. Right now, you see I have 22 gold, so... Let's say something popped up here for two gold that for my build, I really want. I could grab it, but I think if I remember right, the way this works economically, you'd have to sell that unit, I think pretty fast here. We'll have to see. It's been a minute since I've done a complete open fort. But in fact, just to check the math on it, 
I'll just grab this Shining Archer. As you can see, we're still at 20 gold. So we're going to get the interest and we're definitely going to lose. I think you can have a two cost unit, maybe even a three cost because that's what priest, that's the other priest, that's that glacial priest, but I'm not positive uh, when you have to sell it. Again, the only point of this is getting a ton of economy. And if you get that money and then don't have a good plan, this could be a very <laughs> devastating build. It could be uh, you know, the reason you lose the match. So yeah, I have 28 gold here. I do have to sell this two cost unit. Bring me up to 30 gold. That's what I thought. I think you can still do this. I'd have to check the math on it. I think you can still do this with a priest unit and you will miss a point of interest here and there, but I still think you get to 50 by round 10. So we're on our way to round 10 with the most beneficial gold setup possible for a loss streak. If you happen to be buying units and let's just say, there was a reality where you bought the first three units from the start of the game and you were on a winning streak, you would be similarly uh, benefited economy wise. There are two big things to look for uh, in auto chess, two, two big parts of winning. And it is your health, which when it's gone, you're dead and your economy, which is what keeps you viable in the match what, what lets you continue to find units what lets you continue to win so as you can see everyone on the board here we have more gold than everybody on the board of course we also have zero units <laughs> we have more gold than everyone on the board we also get to see what everyone is building using l1 and square we can look what everyone's doing now right here i have 39 gold so that's what i thought yeah there is a point where you can't do anything gold wise i'm gonna grab this unicorn I'll grab these Agrisus Rangers and this Tusk. I'll probably, I can grab the Heaven Bomber as well. I'll probably end up selling all, all or most of them, depending on what I need to make it to the next rung of interest. But 39 gold, we don't get an extra bit of gold here for being above 40. So they're on my bench. We still lose, we're losing health. If we had a priest this whole time, that would be more beneficial, but we never found one. And I'm definitely not going to roll for one. The whole point of this is to have a superior economy. Economy, economy, economy. I'm saying the word economy a lot. It's getting to the point where I don't know. I don't know if uh, what I'm saying is a real word anymore. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, by the way, thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for commenting and subscribing and liking and all that great stuff. I really appreciate it. What do we got here? We have 44... 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah, this puts us at 49, right? So I'll grab Thunder Spirit and I'll grab Water Spirit. And why not? I'll grab Stone Spirit and I'll sell an Agrisus Ranger. This is just getting me ready for round 10. This moves us into round 10, and we should have 50 gold here. And now we can start making some decisions. A little sip of coffee. Ah, and you're gonna see essentially the end of Open Fort. I don't even know what I wanna take here. I'll take a Magicka Crystal and a Broken Sword. Make myself a Teleport Dagger. Now we are on this creep round. So I want to, without spending more money than I have to, I want to win. We might not. <laughs> you, you don't always get the units you need to win this thing. Put a teleport dagger on you. I could grab a dwarf. Sure. I'll use you for some frontline support. We'll see if this works out. It might not. But there you have the beginnings of Open Fort, the way you get the most economy possible. Again, if we found a priest throughout there, I wouldn't grab it on the first round because we want that 10 gold. I would lock my board using L1 on PlayStation. I would lock my board and then I would get that unit uh, the following round so that I could gain the economy. Again, we didn't find a good group of units here, so we didn't end up winning that round. I would have liked to but we didn't. 
That's open fort. That's how you start games. <laughs> That's how you start games with a big loss. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.